Well, a warm welcome to this talk. Now, sadly, the increase in colorectal cancer we've been anticipating is starting to come through in the data. We've anticipated this for some time on this channel from talking to and listening to some world leading experts. So let's give some published data that's come out in the last in the last week or two. Colorectal cancer incidence in US adults after recommendations for earlier screening. Now, this is from this paper here. So always uh, check it out for yourself, of course. Now, after a stable 15 year trend in the amount of colorectal cancer, local stage colorectal cancer incidence, the number of new cases, increased steeply in adults aged 45 to 49 and in other younger adults, but this is the age group we're looking at, during 2019 to 2022, including a 50% relative increase. 50% relative increase between 2021 and 2022. Now, of course, 2021, uh, the paper uh, must have forgotten to mention this, but that was the year of the mRNA vaccine rollout, of course. Um, but be that as it may, uh, a 50% relative increase between 2021 and 2022. Sudden uptick in incidence among adults aged 45 to 49 in 2021. The increase accelerated in 20. 22. And this is research, as we've said, directly from the Journal of the American Medical uh, Association. And I will be giving uh, some extra evidence from this site as well uh, in a minute that confirms these, um, these um, well, tragic, tragic um, increases. Let's look at a little bit of the detail here. So um, individuals aged 45 to 49. Now, this is local stage tumours, colorectal cancers. Now, the fact that it's local stage, that, mean, that tells me that it's of fairly recent onset. Now, it's good that it's detected at the local stage before it's metastasized. If it's detected at a stage one where the tumour's localised, that, that's good, better than being detected at stage four where it's already spread around the body. But it also indicates the fairly recent onset tumours. So these are tumours which have developed 2021, 2022, 2023, that kind of, 2024, that kind of time. Uh, 2024 to 2019, the incidence was uh, 1% annually. 2019 to 22, that had accelerated to 12% annual increase. So it's gone up from a 1% annual increase to a 12% annual increase, 2019 to 2022. Specifically in 2019, it was 9.4 per 100,000. In 2021, 11.7 per 100,000, 50% relative increase. And in 2022, 17.5 per 100,000, a 50% increase relative to 2021. Now, I just want to confirm this by looking at data from this site here, uh, the Colorectal Alliance in the uh, United States. And just some information from them. Colorectal is common and deadly. 152,810 new cases of colorectal cancer in 2024. So we're seeing a lot of new cases. Uh, of these, 106, 106, just over 106,000 colon cancer, 46,000 uh, over 46,000 rectal cancers. So you probably know that the col the rectum basically is the last part of the colon. Well, the colon's going to start down here with the, with the cecum in, in the, the right side, go up the ascending colon, transverse colon, uh, descending colon, uh, and then sigmoid colon, and the rectum is the last part where the, the feces is, is actually stored prior to defecation. Um, so anyway, the, it's basically colorectal cancers, most in the colon, but a lot, a lot also being seen in the rectum. Colorectal cancer is the second leading cause of all cancer-related deaths in the US. Um, an estimated 53,000 deaths in 2024, 52,000 deaths in 2023. Now, this site um, also says, uh, and this is the more, well, well, it's all concerning, rising colorectal cancer cases amongst younger people. Mortality rate in younger people increasing. Now leading cause of cancer deaths in men under 50. Leading cause of cancer deaths in men under 50. Second leading cause of cancer deaths in women under 50. Young people are often diagnosed with more advanced cancers due to delays in detection. Now, I just want to look at a little bit of the argument that JAMA gives here because JAMA doesn't mention 
So the Journal of the Medical, Medical Association doesn't really mention causes or vaccines, mRNA vaccines. Uh, as we've heard, talked to some expert, experts who are uh, concerned about, about these new interventions, and we've seen the increases in 2021-2022. Right, so Jarma says this, the increase likely reflects diagnostic and, prevent- and, and uh, prevalent asymptomatic cancers through first-time screening due to recommended recommendations for adults being screened at age 45 years instead of 50. So basically what this is saying is that the age of screening in the U- US has come down. It's come down in the UK as well, but down to 45 in the United States. And that's why they're picking up more cases. Well, yeah, that's probably part of it, but... Are more cases occurring? Of course, is the critical question that I would like to ask. And if more cases are occurring, why are more cases occurring? Jarma goes on. The sudden uptick uptick in incidents among adults aged 45 to 49 in 2021 may reflect a rebound of misdiagnoses in 2020 because of pandemic-related disruptions. Yeah, okay, okay. Um, however, the increase, and to be fair here, the, the, they are saying the increase was unique to early stage disease in the newly eligible screening age group and accelerated in 2022. And the recommendations didn't change till 2021. So they are admitting, I think here, reading through the lines, there's something going on in 2021, 2022, but they're not quite uh, naming that. And then they say, although additional data years are needed to con- for confirmation, the recent uptick in localised colorectal cancer cases after recommendations to initiate screening in adults aged 45 to 49 um, is promising and may reflect earlier detection through screening initiation. So, so basically they're saying that screening is perhaps, they're intimating strongly that screening is the uh, main cause of the increase. Uh, while allowing for the possibility that there are increase in cases. But it's certainly seeming to nudge the leader, the reader in a particular direction, which I think is unfortunate. If you're reading Jarmy, you should be able to make up your own mind, I would have thought. Anyway, the data is pretty good. Uh, 21 registers, US National Cancer Institute, and I did check this out as well. That's this site here. Uh, masses of rather interesting uh, statistics. Um, somewhat more up to date than the United Kingdom was, it has to be said, as far as I can see. Anyway, anyway, um, cases diagnosed from 2024, so sorry, 2004 to 2022, among young adults aged 20 to 24, uh, they've looked at uh, two, this, this is back to the JAMA data, sorry, they've looked at 2,000, well, over 200,000 cancer cases. So good number of cases. Th- this data, I'm convinced, is, is completely genuine. And of course, it's possible to argue um, positively or erroneously from genuine data. This is kind of the problem. But happy with the data there um, is is good, recognised national sources of data. So just in passing, colorectal cancer screening age in the UK is now down to 50, 2024, 2025, down to 50, where it was 60 down to 45 in the US, although I have read recently that about 25% of people in the States never get screening. Um, the test in the UK is for an immunochemistry test for blood, faecal occult blood. So there we have that definitive increase. Now, I'm just going to show you an interesting study before we look at some of the signs, early signs to look out for, and uh, some of the possible causes of colon cancer if you want to stick around. Interesting study on vitamin D. This is the study. Uh, this is the study here, um, looking at large number of cases, a large number of subjects in seventeen countries. Twenty five percent lower risk was reported, comparing the highest versus the lowest dietary vitamin D consumption. So people on high levels of vitamin D, getting twenty five percent less colorectal cancer. 25% less than those on low amounts of vitamin D. So low vitamin D associated with more colon cancer, higher vitamin D intake, less colon cancer. And this study pre- concluded, large-scale study, the meta-analysis demonstrates that high dietary vitamin D is associated with colorectal cancer prevention. 
So, um, again, not mentioned in the article. No money in vitamin D, anyway. Now, just very, very briefly, signs of colorectal cancer. Um, signs to look out for. Obviously, uh, I get screened, and I would suggest if you could possibly can get screened, of course, of course, get screened. We are very much in favour of screening prostate cancer, colon cancer. Get screened would be the thinking of this channel, at least. Now, um, but early warning signs that may raise alarm bells, per rectum blood or blood in the faeces, you know, on the faeces. Uh, now, very common, of course, common, this is piles, but, you know, this has to be, this is an early sign of colon cancer. Change in normal bowel habit, feeling of incomplete emptying or needing to strain after passing, pain in the back passage or abdomen, anemia, weight loss and feeling masses. Um, anemia, uh, basically new cases of anemia, colon cancer should be suspected if there's unexplained blood loss anemia um, well gastrointestinal cancer should be uh, suspected anemia you might get pallor you might get shortness of breath you might get tiredness weight loss of course and masses always associated with cancer now i have done a few risk factors here i'm not going to go through them in detail i'm just going to basically read them out but diet uh, is a risk factor certainly Eating too much processed meat and red meat. Now, we could argue all day about the red meat bit. Um, I'm putting it in because the uh, the British, uh, th this is from, uh, no, um, this, yeah, this is from Cancer Research UK. That's from that site there. They do include the red meat, so I've mentioned it. Uh, processed red meat, for sure. 13% of cases in the UK of uh, colorectal cancer are linked to eating processed meats. Uh, all sorts of fibre are good, of course. Being overweight or obese is bad. 11% in the UK are linked to obesity. Physical activity is, of course, good. Smoking tobacco is, of course, bad. 7% of cases in the UK. Alcohol, we could debate about alcohol for a long time, but the Cancer Research Council says 6% of cases of colorectal cancer in the UK are influenced by uh, alcohol. Uh, age, the older you get, the more likely it is. And family history, there's some specific traits such as Lynch syndrome, Lynch syndrome which we've actually talked about before. Uh, of course, get polyps and things treated at an early stage. Um, and on the Cancer Research Council, C C Cancer Research UK website, I didn't see any mention actually of uh, vitamin D. And uh, I didn't see any mention of mRNA vaccines as a possible risk factor. So there we are, um, increase in... Um, colorectal cancer is certainly in the United States in younger age groups in the very young age groups actually colorectal cancer often presents very late because typically younger age groups under 40 say under 45 aren't screened so when it does present it presents much more rarely but when it does present it often presents at a later stage so consider the signs of colorectal cancer basically at any age and let's keep a completely open mind as to possible causes of this because we want to prevent cases in future. You'll have your own views on what's causing it. Do let me know what you think. But as always, for now, thank you for watching.